I'm going to start my talk today with talking about the response to external environmental stimuli, and particularly about the sense of smell. The sense of smell begins with G-protein coupled receptors in the olfactory neurons of the nose. Large families of these receptors detect different chemicals in the environment. Different neurons express different receptors to detect different chemicals. And my favorite of all the G-protein coupled odorant receptors is a molecule called odor 10, which detects diacetyl, a buttery smell. Odor 10 is a molecule that is found in the nematode worm Cenorhabditis elegans. C. elegans, as it is known to its friends, is an organism that's been very valuable for studying the nervous system as well as other biological processes because it's easy to grow in the lab and easy to manipulate at a genetic level. C. elegans, which is just a millimeter long, detects many different odors and it responds to them showing innate preferences for different odors. So for example, the smell of diacetyl is released by some of C. elegans' natural food sources. And therefore, when C. elegans smells this odor, it approaches it. It's attracted to the odor. Conversely, when C. elegans smells certain kinds of toxic odors, like nonanone, it's repelled by those odors, and it goes away from them. Diacetyl is detected by odor 10, the G-protein coupled receptor I mentioned before. The G-protein coupled receptor is expressed in a pair of neurons in the tip of the worm's nose, these blue neurons here. They're exposed to the environment, and they detect diacetyl in the environment to initiate the odor preference behavior. Another pair of neurons right next to them in red detect repulsive odors. So you could think of odor 10 as a gene for a behavior. Odor 10 is certainly required for the worms to respond to diacetyl. 